YouTube is Rico, man, and I'm back with another video, man. Y'all see what we got going on. We got NBA Youngboy in federal custody, possible Rico charges over 2020 arrest. So y'all already know what time it is, man. But if you're brand new to the channel or you've been watching videos on the channel, but for some reason not subscribed yet, subscribe now. Also tell your friends and family about our channel. Hopefully they become new supporters of the channel to help us on our grind of 5K. Also make sure y'all smash that like button and comment on this video to help this video get recommended to a larger audience of people and hopefully bring new supporters to the channel to help us on the grind of 5K. Other than that, let me start the screen record. That started and we finna start this video now. Man, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090J, but I'm rocking with y'all and y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on NBA Youngboy, how he was just taken into federal custody, and how this may turn into a RICO case officially taking down the NBA gang. News. I ain't know it was that deep, man. I'm thinking it's just mainly him getting arrested for some regular yesterday or whatever the day it was that he got arrested. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday, but um, I thought it was just going to be some regular shit. But if they talking about possible RICO charges on everybody that's in the NBA, then yeah, that's definitely crazy, man. Because Kodak just got out and now all of a sudden NBA young boy going right in and stuff. So... But it's gonna be crazy, man. This is definitely uh, something that nobody probably really seen out on the outside looking in. So we're gonna see, man. Let's continue on. It was broke Monday, March 22nd, 2021, that Kentrell Galden, more commonly known as NBA Youngboy, was taken into federal custody in Los Angeles on a federal warrant. Apparently, Los Angeles PD and U.S. Marshals were tracking the rapper and attempted to pull him over in the Tarzana neighborhood around 11 a.m. The vehicle he was in didn't pull over, resulting in a short pursuit in which the vehicle stopped and young boy took off running through the neighborhood. Police quickly set up a perimeter and deployed a canine, which was able to track and find the 21-year-old rapper who was then taken into federal custody. A fire round was found inside of the vehicle young so I wonder if he pretty much already knew this then because if he ain't really stopped at all and took off running, then nine times out of ten, I feel like he probably did know that this was coming. But like I said, man, because I wasn't hearing reports or nothing lately until yesterday of anything about some possible um, warrants for federal stuff that is going on with him and, somebody, and other people that's involved in the NBA. So like I said, this definitely came as a surprise and stuff. I ain't see this coming. So... Other than that, man, we just gonna have to see how this plays out. Cause if they going after everybody, including him, then yeah, that mean they got some hard evidence to try to take them to court for and put them pretty much all in jail at the end of the day. So we gonna see. Cause if they all end up going to jail, that's gonna be crazy, man, for real. Young boy was in, but it's unclear if it belonged to him or if he'll be facing a future weapons charge. Being that young boy is a felon and banned from possessing firearms and ammunition. Now, this federal warrant may be the result of an arrest back in 2020 when 16 men, including young boy, were arrested on drug and firearms charges in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the rapper's hometown. Police received a call for a group. I didn't know it was 16 though, when I got arrested for that. But that's crazy. Brandishing firearms at an abandoned property where they were said to be filming a music video around 4.30 p.m. When police arrived, they received permission to search three out of the seven vehicles on scene, producing three grams of marijuana and a single hydrocodone pill. A judge signed a search warrant for the remaining vehicles, which led to officers finding several handguns and rifles, AI pistols and Dracos, some weapons attached with lasers, even a double drum high capacity magazine. Officers found more marijuana, Xanax, a scale, and another seven firearms discarded in grass near the abandoned property, one of which came back as being reported stolen out of Texas. Young boy was found in possession of $47,000 cash, which was seized by police along with a $300,000 cashier's check. Although months went by without official charges being filed, in February of 2021, 
It was announced young boy was officially under federal investigation. And there's a high probability this new arrest could be career ending. At this time, it hasn't been said, but this could quickly be turning into a RICO case in which young boy will be portrayed as the head of NBA, short for never broke again. What Baton Rouge police describe as a violent street gang that's been involved in numerous shootings and murders across Baton Rouge. The fact that he was arrested with several guns and gang members around him isn't a good look. But not only that, he bonded out every single one of his guys he was arrested with. It's obvious who's controlling what, who has the funds behind the group, and as we all know, the feds don't strike without concrete confidence. As we've all seen, the power of the feds is starting to weigh heavy on Casanova, who's been very vocal on how his own people aren't holding him down while he's locked up, and it seems he's already being counted out. With an insanely high conviction rate, yeah, man, at the end of the day in the streets, man, one of y'all go down and say you might be the, the most important one out the whole group for obvious reasons. You might have the money, funds, um, popularity, pretty much a, you a celebrity out the whole group, man. But once you go to jail, you're going to see who really your friends and who not at the end of the day because Casanova is seeing it right now. And I'm pretty sure if NBA Youngboy was pretty much done and over with, we probably going to see a lot of those people or maybe a few of them that's going to not really remain solid towards the, towards them at the end of the day. So we're going to have to see how this plays out. But we seen a lot of people that go to jail and always talk about how all of a sudden when they go locked in, they don't got nobody that's really coming in to see them or put money on their books or even trying to contact them or anything like that. So... We're going to see, man, because at the end of the day, that's why a lot of people always say, I don't trust nobody when I'm in the streets. Yeah, I got people that's around, but I don't 100% trust anybody because you just never know because we've been seeing too many people get backdoored by their own or have somebody snitch on their own, et cetera, et cetera. Just do stuff pretty much stabbing each other in the back at the end of the day. So, like I said, man, we're going to see what's going on with this case and how long he going to be up in there and who all really going to remain loyal to him and stuff like that and pretty much be there for him but let's continue on great the best possible outcome for young boy would be charges that don't carry the possibility of life in a federal prison and we'll just have to wait for the official indictment to be released now at this point we don't know what the exact charges are we don't know exactly what the warrant is for there is a chance that i mean there's a chance that it isn't career ending. I'm not going to say that it's minor because nothing involving the feds is minor. If they're trying to... Yeah, you got the feds that can come after you and arrest you and all that stuff. Yeah, you definitely in some deep shit, man. It's just it's how much evidence they got and what charges at the end of the day... <laughs> excuse me, tons with it like a bug. But at the end of the day, depending on the charges they decide to give you and charge you with, it's going to determine if you're going to get out of jail or if you're going to be up in there for a long, long time. And sometimes that might be lifetime. So we don't know yet, but we're going to see, man. But hopefully it ain't nothing that's going to be having them locked up for years on top of years and stuff like that or a lifetime or whatever the case is. But we're going to see, man. But, yeah, if you get arrested by feds, you definitely got something serious going on. Get them on the guns and the drug charges. He might get off on the drug charges, right? But if he's getting fucked over with the guns, I mean, a lot of people don't understand possession. It's much more than just having something in your hand, right? If he's around a bodyguard, that's cool. And the car that he was in when he ran off, if he had a bodyguard in the front seat, that's whose gun it was, that's fine. But if the bodyguard's in the front seat and he's in the back seat and the gun is found in the back seat, he can be charged with that. Constructive possession, the ability of becoming armed, the ability of grabbing that gun. It doesn't have to be in your hand for you to be charged with possession. If they're trying to get him on a constructive possessions charge on all of the other guns from the music video, you have to understand when you're a felon in possession of a firearm or ammunition, it could be one fucking bullet. You're facing up to 10 years in prison on that one charge. Mm. The amount of fucking guns that they had at that music video is insane. So, yeah, he's only facing up to 10 years. 
But if you got fucking 14 charges, that's 140 years max on every single charge. So this shit will add up very fucking quick. If he gets hit with the RICO Act, I'm not going to say it's over, but you might as well not even worry about the fucking gun charges at that point. We've seen how the RICO Act is. You have two options. And this is, you know, in my opinion, why people are counting Casanova out because you're either going to do what Shawty did or you're going to snitch. You're either going to sign up and take that time 10, 15, 20, whatever the fuck they're offering you, right? Because it's not like you can just offer some shit and get the deal that you fucking want. They're applying the pressure on you. They're going to offer... And lately, do y'all think this has something to do with a lot of his music? Because lately we've been seeing, like, everybody saying, oh, he reaching out for help, you know, and he even be saying he need help and stuff like that. It's all type of stuff behind his music. So I I definitely believe like this is part of the reason why those songs is the way that he is right now. So he probably definitely known that this was coming. So he already know what time it is. But we still don't know for sure. We, we still got to wait and see what the feds decide to do, what they going to charge him with, stuff like that. But y'all comment down below if y'all felt like this is a major reason why those songs are the way they are right now that he's been releasing and stuff like that. I feel like it is, but let's continue on. If you the deal, either you're going to snitch. If you don't, you can go to trial and get banned, or you can sign off and take this time, right? If he gets hit with the Rico Wax, I'm thinking it's more or less going to go that way. I don't take him as being the type that's going to snitch. That's just my personal opinion. I don't think Casanova's going to snitch. We just don't know how things are going to play out at this point. We don't know how severe things are. All we know is the feds don't fuck off. And when they come to get you, they normally already have all of the evidence that they need. And the evidence is going to be released when the indictment is released. We're going to hear more about it. We're going to know the facts behind it. We're going to... And you already know those charges are about to be some crazy, period. Like, we already know what time it is. Like I said, man, I just said that earlier, too. Feds get you. Or looking for you nine times out of ten, they got a lot of evidence on you and you and some serious shit. So if you get arrested by them, yeah, they definitely got something on you, period. To have more information to better form an opinion on what we think is going to play out. But I mean, all this is is more and more examples of what not to fucking do. Especially once you get the bag, once you got the money on lock. And I said this in plenty of videos, y'all. Like, I literally said, if you somebody that's really important out the group, like, say you got the potential to really take your guys out the hood and stuff and take care of whoever you want to take care of at the end of the day, the legal way, like music, sports, whatever the case is, you should be in the, you shouldn't be in the front lines, period. Those guys that's not really got the potential that you got to take off somewhere in a career like you, those need to be the ones that's pretty much in the front lines. I'm not saying it as a as a bad way. I'm saying it as a good way because if they go down, at least you won't be in jail with they ass. You'll be able to take care of them, get them out of jail if they got some small charges, whatever the case is, something that ain't going to keep them locked up forever type shit or, or a case that ain't going to let them get bond, et cetera, et cetera. Y'all pretty much know where I'm going with this. But, yeah, man, you just need to be in, behind the front lines, period. Then the only time you should have to be in the front lines doing anything that those guys in the front lines are doing is if you pretty much forced to. Because at the end of the day, if too many of the guys that's in the front lines taking care of stuff while you behind on the front lines and stuff, then, yeah, it's going to be hard for you to kind of stay out of the front lines. Because if all of them get took out, then now you're going to have to step in a little bit, even though you don't want to, because that's just how the streets is, period. But... As long as you got guys, like hella guys that's in the front lines, that's that's easily able to be took care of and stuff while you do your music and stuff, then go ahead and do that, man. Because if you get locked up, now you ain't going to be able to take care of yourself and them. And so y'all all are pretty much going to be messed up in jail. Y'all just going to be stuck. So, like I said, this is a case that where he ain't going to get out no time soon, then that's definitely looking like the possibility. It is that he might be serving hella years up in jail right now. So, like I said, man, we got to see what the feds decide to charge him with and stuff like that and what all 
what the serious charges is because if they gonna hit them with the rico act then yeah it's a lot of people that's gonna go down and they finna be up in there for a minute and it's gonna be a long long trial it's gonna be it's gonna take some years definitely gonna take some years at least it's gonna take it's gonna take a, uh, a year or two before they even start the for sure first stage of the process of figuring out what they trying to charge people with and what time frame they looking at as far as possible getting out of jail or a bond or anything of that nature it's gonna take it's gonna take some time a little bit i'll probably say in a couple months maybe they might start but if not then they probably gonna have them sitting up for a year look what they did to glock nine glock nine was up in jail for i think what a year or two and he finally just got out so we're gonna see man they can take as much time as they want to now that he locked up shit they ain't gotta rush nothing and that's just how it is and that's what's so fucking toxic about hip-hop rap the culture right it's so fucking toxic because everybody will play your song when you're talking about killing shit. When you're talking about I'm outside, everybody will promote that shit. You know what I mean? But everybody will fall silent when your ass get banned. Unless they're talking about it because they profit off of the fact that they're talking about what happened to you. Nobody is really saying don't do that shit. And if they are, that's not going to stop them from playing your music. You know what I'm saying? It's promoted. The violence is promoted. Because if it wasn't promoted, it wouldn't be fucking played, right? We wouldn't be feeding into it. That's just how it goes. And for these rappers, when they have an image, it's almost like a fucking superhero. It's almost like an MMA fighter. Everybody loves them until they become defeated. When they're undefeated, when they're sliding on ops, when they... Are yeah, and I really want to see how loyal his fan base is going to remain, man. Because if he go down... And I'm pretty sure, I not too long ago, just seen a video DJ Academics had um, posted a video saying if NBA Youngboy um, pretty much, if, he was saying something along the lines as his career is pretty much lasting as long as his fan base is rocking hard with his music and on his wave and stuff and really like banging, like banging his music 24-7 and stuff like that. They, they pretty much supporting everything he doing. Without those fan, without those fans, at the end of the day, if say he do go to jail and people stop talking about his music and all that stuff, he definitely gonna fall. He definitely gonna lose a lot of money. He gonna lose a lot of viewers and fans and all that stuff. For y'all know how the views is on YouTube and stuff. If he ain't got nothing that's being dropped, he pretty much gonna be stopped getting talked about. The main thing they only going to say every now and then is like, damn, I wonder if he going to get out. Like, what's the charges looking like? What's the case looking like? Is anybody getting out? With who is going to do what when he get out? Or if they get out, like, what's going on? Because there's going to be some people that possibly might get, get out of there. But mainly him, they definitely going to go crazy over him just to make sure they can keep him locked up. Because police already know his history and what's been happening in the past year and stuff like that with the whole King Von situation and people pretty much clicking up on on either side and trying to go at one another and stuff. So they looking at that too, man. So if they take the main person out, then that's pretty much how you're going to get the rest of them to start getting taken out at the end of the day, whether it do be due to the streets or due to the justice system. So all of this plays a role in how this whole situation with NBA Youngboy is gonna go, man. It's just that simple. They allegedly killed so-and-so when they're involved with this murder. They're winning, they got all the fans. Then when they get arrested, everyone says they're stupid for participating in the bullshit or when they get killed. And that's a double-edged sword listening to a, a hip hop or drill artists at the end of the day. Y'all promote his music and stuff, rock with what he be talking about. Then the moment he get locked up, jammed up and shit, then now all of a sudden, uh, he shouldn't have been doing this and that, and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, what you expect? That's what he rap about. Of course, that's probably the life he lived. He actually one of those people that you can say, yeah, he really lived that life. So at the end of the day, if he get locked up, that shouldn't be no surprise at all. Because if you really living and doing what you rap about, you're going to get locked up. You're going to have a time where you're going to go in for cases like this or something crazy, and that's just what it is. But people don't want to talk about that. They just rather 
oh yeah, I mess with his music, this and that. Woo, woo, woo. He a real one. Then when he get locked up, man, he a dummy and all this and stuff. Why would he do that? Like, what you mean? Like, you been listening to his music. So what you thought he was just rapping about it for fun? <laughs> y'all gotta, y'all gotta realize that, man. That's just the double edged sword of listening to hip hop nowadays. Period. Killed. They say they're dumb for having fucking no security. But when they're alive, they'll say they're pussy for having security. They'll say they're pussy for not being in the street. And that's another one, man. But I ain't finna go in on that, man. It's pretty much the same as what I said before. You get, you get, you get security, and then you get blamed for being a pussy and all this and stuff. And then if you don't have security, oh, you should have had security for that situation, man, because that you could have avoided that. So you, it's like, which one do you want him to do? Have security or not have security? Because at the end of the day, he's going to be getting blamed for shit, whether he do it or not do it. So. For not being outside, which makes a lot of these motherfuckers think they have to do this shit in order to maintain their career. It's toxic as hell, and it's causing a lot of people to lose their fucking life. It's just example after example of what not to fucking do. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, for some people, this is their way out. And when they've touched that amount of money by doing what they've been doing, they're not going to give up what they've been doing until they fall victim to it. And at that point, it's too late. We can either remember them for who they were when they were alive because they got killed, or we'll remember them for the time that they were free because their ass is in prison for decades. But hey, we'll see how it plays out. I'll keep y'all posted. It's 1090J. I'm and that's pretty much the end of the video, man. At the end of the day, this is the way I feel. If if he got, like, say he just focused on his music, he realistically don't need to do anything in the streets anymore because people already know his background and his history. That can never be erased or changed, period. That's already written in stone. So written in stone, whatever you want to say, whatever. Anyway, so that's written in stone. So realistically, he could have just focused on his music by now and just been only doing the music shit, staying out the way, living wherever it's nice at, ain't got to worry about running into ops or being involved in situations that he is involved in now that he's been involved in for years. Shit. So it's like, at the end of the day, I feel like his fan base is the way they is right now. He could have definitely just been cool with that, doing the music thing and not really have to worry about doing street shit anymore. He could still rap about it because he's already done it, period. I could see if he never done no shit in the streets and ain't had no background, but yet he rapping about the shit, then yeah, it's going to look suspect in the hill. And then people ain't going to really like, why would we even listening to this nigga? He ain't even really doing this shit for real. He ain't got no background in this shit. So that's why you all see these rappers really take off. Because some of them do have the backgrounds and stuff. And people already know this information. And that's what gets them to even rock with their music even more. Because they know that that person really did what they rapping about. But now if you get somebody that's rapping about the shit that they don't actually do in real life. Then that's not going to have people really rock with your music forever. Yeah, you might have a buzz because you had one song that took off. But then once people find out that you ain't really like that. Alright, yeah, no, we ain't rocking with that nigga no more. He had his run. It's cool. Woo, woo, woo. Now it's over with. He, it's, it is what it is. He ain't got no background. He ain't really doing that shit. So we already know this now. So that's all we need to know about not rocking with this nigga no more. And that's just how it is for a lot of people that be fans of hit, uh, people like this drill artist or et cetera, et cetera, hit rapper, stuff like that. But other than that, though, man, that, that's pretty much the end, man. I ain't going to keep this video going for too long. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're brand new, man. And I'm going to see y'all later on with more videos. Peace.